What's up, everybody? It's Bryce Butler. I got Shannon Sharp, Uncle Shay Shay, Club Shay Shay, Nightcap <laughs> in the building. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing great. Great. Um, it's great to be back in the city again. I'm so excited for Vegas to get an opportunity to host the Super Bowl, and everybody is, is buzzing. You know what Vegas is like on the weekend. So, in any big event, but now when you add your 10 exit and by bringing the Super Bowl and probably additional million people in, it's going to be crazy. But I'm super excited for the city of Las Vegas and the NFL because I, the NFL puts on an extravaganza like nobody else. It's the biggest event and sporting event in North America, and they do a great job, and it gets bigger and better every year. Yeah. So, Shannon, let's, let's hop over to you real quick. Let's mm -hmm. get off the Super Bowl for a second, okay? You've been killing it all over social media, doing your thing. Let's talk about Cat Williams for a minute. Mm -hmm. How has everything changed for you, <laughs> elevated, whatever, since Cat Williams came to Club Shay Shay? Well, he definitely told me he was going to put me in a different stratosphere, and it has. Um, we're at uh, over 57 million views. There haven't been a whole lot of... Uh, interviews, sit down, conversations that's hit that number. Yeah. And so for for my team, Club Shay Shay, uh, the volume, CJ, my producer, and everybody behind the scenes for us to reach that magic number. But for me, my job is easy. And I think a lot of the a lot of mistakes that, that people make that have platforms, they want to hear their own voice. Yeah. When a guest comes on my sh comes on my platform, obviously the, the viewing audience and the listening audience, they want to hear that guest. Right. So I let the guest talk. I don't try to push them in any particular way. I don't try to coax them. And it's a, we're having a conversation. Right. And what I tell my listener, what I tell the viewing listener or the, uh, the viewing audience or the, or the listener is that, look, if you want a 60 Minutes interview, 60 Minutes is still on. Yeah. I, I watch 60 Minutes. Right. If you want Dateline, you want 48 Hours, those platforms are available. But if you want to have someone, if you want to listen to an interview or a conversation where someone is expressing things that you probably never heard about that person, right. well, this is the place that you come to. So Cat uh, was unbelievable. I still remain in contact with Cat. He's yeah. probably one of the few guests that I still, uh, obviously, Earthquake's been on, and I still talk to Earthquake. Yeah. Steve Harvey's been on, and I, I occasionally talk to Steve or shoot him a text message. Yeah. But Cat definitely put, put Club Shay Shay in a different space, and... Since that happened, there have been so many people that have reached out wanting yeah. to come on. So yes, yes. I really appreciate what he's been able to do. And hopefully it's been reciprocated by having sold out shows. Yeah. Um, I see they've added a couple of tour dates, but Cat has been unbelievable. He's an unbelievable guy, and I really appreciate his time and opportunity. But I had been working on Cat for almost a year. Okay. It, uh, yeah, I reached out to him in, at the end of 2022, okay. and it wasn't until the end of 23 that we were able to make it happen. Okay. And I'm glad we were able to make it. Uh, uh, YouTube and, and digital history. I think I think we all because <laughs> man, that is so explosive. I'm, I'm sure it seemed like half the stuff he was saying while you were sitting there had to have your stomach dropping. Like, come on, cat. Like, well, me look, I'm not in that world. Yeah. I'm not in that space. So a lot of what I'm hearing is for the very first time. Okay. And so I'm sure some of some of what he was saying to the audience, they were hearing for the very first time. And I think it was so. I I, I think. Now, it was a lot about what he was saying, but it's also about who he was saying it about. Yes. That's yes. so um, a lot of these people, they're big, big, big A-list names. A lot of these people in television and in radio and in, they, they, they dominate their, their world, their yeah. space. And to have him say that, yeah, I'm sure it caught a lot of people off guard. But my job is not to say, well, cat, that's a lie or cat, this is that. This is your opportunity. Because some, some of the guys, like I had at the trainer on. I had Steve Harvey on. I had Ricky Smiley on. So some of the guys, some of the things that he was saying, he was refuting what they were saying. Yes. And so yes. it's not my job to determine who's lying or who's telling the truth. I have an audience that listens. I have an audience that, that watch um, um, through YouTube or audience that listen through Spotify and Apple. So I'll let you determine. I'll let you decide who you want to believe. And then i move on to the next one. Uh, before we get into football, it was just in that you and your guy, Stephen A. Smith, are going to be coaching a basketball game <laughs> yeah. next week. What can we expect to see next week with you guys coaching? You can team? expect my team to win. That's all I care about. <laughs> I care about the win. Uh, look, I want, I want, the, I want the, uh, the members, the team members, to have a good time. Yeah. But there's nothing. You have no better time than when you win. Yeah. And so that's, that's going to be my message to the team. Look, I want everybody to have a good time. I wish everybody can score 40 points. But we're gonna feed the hot man. Right. So whoever has it going, hey, like. yeah, man, we are gonna have somebody, like. somebody about to have a Luca or a Joel Embiid moment, about to have a seventy piece. Cause <laughs> whoever's hot, 
they're going to get the ball. We're going to run back picks. We're going to run pin downs. We're going to run flares. We're going to do everything we possibly can. We're going to do a four, uh, four out. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that person gets keep it, keeps it going and we win the game. Okay. All right, Hall of Fame tight end right here to my left, Travis Kelsey. Do you say he goes down as one of the top when he's done? Well, right now, for me, he's the GOAT. I mean, you base it on what he's been able to do, the longevity that in which he's enjoyed. Uh, he has the most uh, playoff catches. He has uh, he and uh, Patrick has the most uh, touchdowns between the duo. And you look at the consistency, the thousand yard games, the year in and year out, the consistency. It's just hard for me to say somebody has done it as good as long as Trav. So for me, and that's no knock on any of the gr yeah. other greats. Obviously, you know we know what Gronk has done. He's a four-time Super Bowl champ. He's a multiple-time All-Pro, big time in the playoff game. But Travis Kelsey can, can match him stat for stat, number for number, yard for yard. So for, me, for my money, I, it's Trav. I, I got Trav one and got Gronk two. Okay. Hey, talk to us about your game day ad that you shot with Oikos <laughs> featuring Martin Lawrence. That is amazing. Um, you know, when, when Oikos reached out to me, and uh, asked me would I be interested. Obviously, I was interested yeah. because I understand a company of this magnitude. They have their, they could have their pick of celebs, athletes, ex-athletes, current athletes, entertainers, and for them to, to choose me, I was I was humbled and I was honored. Mm -hmm. But then they told me who I was going to be paired with. Yeah. I mean, we talked about Martin Lawrence, one of the great stand-ups of his generation, of any generation. We know the Martin sitcom, and we know he's an A-list celeb as far as Hollywood. And so for me to get an opportunity to have a, a big game spot, uh, <laughs> to say the <laughs> least, that was, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, I'm going to do that. Yeah. But to get an opportunity to see up close, to see greatness. And, you know, greatness comes in many forms, and a lot of times we just think of greatness when it comes to sports. Yeah. But I believe greatness is greatness no matter what the profession, no matter what the field. Right. And an opportunity to get an opportunity to see Martin up close in the Oikos spot, the Oiko spot, it was amazing to see how he just like, he's just like so chill. And then when they say action, he can just turn it on yeah. at the blink of an eye. Yeah. And uh, I've done work with Oikos before. Yeah. Um, and Hell so, guy. Hell I, guy. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, and for them with the uh, Oikos Pro and the Oikos Triple Zero, and now, with the HBCUs. We all already understand the HBCUs are underfunded, under-resourced, and for them to go back and try to make sure that, they, that they're not left behind as far as uh, uh, providing quality nutrition and health. And for me personally, because I shoot 10 shows a week between Nightcap, Club Shea Shea, and First Take on ESPN, I shoot about 10 shows a week. Yeah. And so when I have an opportunity, because I don't, I don't get an opportunity to sit down and eat a full meal, so I need something that's jam-packed with protein, Obviously, being an ex-athlete, uh, being a dad, <laughs> being 55 on top of that, so I need I need as much quality protein as I can get, yeah. and so uh, I'm I am so glad that Oikos asked me to be a part of this spot, to have this spot in the big game and team up with uh, uh, Martin, and the 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 part the fact that they're really giving back to HBCUs to make yeah. sure they have That's quality huge. nutrition is something near and dear to my heart. That's huge. That's huge. But well, Shannon, man, we got Shannon Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall of Fame media doing everything big, still swole, still got stick knives <laughs> in his body. We'll talk to y'all later, man. I appreciate you, Shannon. Thanks for having me on, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.